I'm telling you, this is the perfect mirror. The perfect mirror. This flip up camera quality is better than real life. Yo, what's up guys? I wanna bust out my camera and quickly show you guys a behind the scenes because this is something I normally don't do and it's not like I intentionally don't show you guys behind the scenes because like, it's like me asking you, yo, can I come to your work when you're working and see what you do? Sure, bud, come on over. You can watch me for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not something I normally do, but I want to show it because that's the exact reason I normally don't. So, my brother and I and his girlfriend are going to Vermont for a snowboard trip. So, I have to plan some videos ahead of time. One of the main reasons I don't travel that much is because, you know, this is where everything goes down, man. My man cave, like... Whoa, I hit the, the light post thing. This is where the magic happens, and uh, you know, if I don't plan videos ahead of time, then I can't be working on the road because I don't have a super nice laptop. I have this one behind me, which is still nice, but it's a little older, and you know, I can get a newer one. That would be better for making videos when I'm when I'm on the road. I'll just set that. I would just need like pre-recorded gameplay. Well, I gotta make videos for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so just. You know, three days worth of content. I gotta edit some videos for tomorrow, two of the DLC gameplay. And then, I just got done playing some zombies. Here, I'll show you. Just got done playing my first attempt on Dare Essendrach Iron Dragon. Not sure how to say that, but it was fun. It was super hard, but really fun. This is the whole setup, dudes. Like, when I'm doing my thing, so I see I got my blue Yeti ready to go boom mic stand i also got a shock mount and pop filter on my blue yeti a relatively cheap mic but it you know has pretty good quality got audacity my elgato and of course my webcam here to record me that's what i do man on the side got some tiesto i normally play some music as i edit because it kind of keeps me in the zone my twitter feed of course i guess i could show you part of the editing process like currently this is my this right here is my audio make this bigger if you want so this is everything I said I had a few effects to make it sound better then once I'm done let me cut off the edges it's so different showing guys like this kind of process or this part of it I'm just giving you a peek of what I do it's nothing complex but of course like anything else when you first learn something you're not sure what's how it's gonna go gotta name it I'll just say zombs desktop all right, I gotta export that now. But the thing is, I don't actually wanna start editing just yet. I wanna record all my videos before I start editing because I still have, I think, like two more to go, two more videos to make. One of these days, I probably should do like an in depth behind the scenes and like how I edit my videos. And I think I might be soon when I get back from my trip. I have a few videos planned. Some things are coming in the mail and I can't wait because I've wanted this thing for a while. So it's gonna be fun to show you guys what that is. Ooh, this track's good. I love this song, dude. Dude, I love this kind of music. It's called EDM, electronic dance music. It just throws out positive vibes, positive energy. If you don't like positivity, get out of here. And don't come back home. Just kidding, you come back home. I forgive you. I just love it so much. You could skip ahead if you want. Okay, let me just make something clear here. If you don't enjoy watching something, you just don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people comment, oh my God, this sucks. Why are you wasting time to say this sucks or whatever you're watching? Because you could be doing so many better things than hating online. If hating other people is more important, then clearly their, prior, like their priorities aren't set straight. Cause dude, I never hate on anybody. There's no time to. I don't got time to hate. 
only time to appreciate. Dude, perfect. Woo. Such a good track, dude. Love it. This vlog's kind of random. It's kind of allowing me to speak my mind too. As most of you know, I've been I've been reading more. I was the dude who would never read books. Like, I know these glasses kind of look funky. They're they're massive, I know, but they're my working my working specs. Yeah, I wouldn't read books because I thought there was more important things. Little did I know the like the main way to learn something is through reading or someone commented experience, which is true. You know, doing something, practicing. I mean, I, I do that, but I guess I didn't do a good job explaining that. You know, trying to explain my thoughts in the best way possible is something to improve on too, and I am. And partly of which because I'm reading more, I'm learning more. Knowledge, knowledge. <laughs> Dude, people, that word, I mean, Ty Lopez just made the word knowledge. Famous quotes from people, knowledge. Ty Lopez, like, that could be his thing. Here's a little stack I've been working on. I'm reading all of them at the same time because it's good to do that. And these books aren't like stories. You don't have to read from the first page to the last, word for word. These books are like guides. When you read them, there's key points that each chapter will make, or sometimes a book will have one key point. And if you know the concept of that point, you don't have to read every single little word. This song is good too, dude. I'm telling you, when I get my own place, I'm gonna blast the music, dude. I'm gonna get massive subs in my house, just huge speakers. I'm gonna shake the house down. But yeah, back to the books and stuff, like speed reading or smart reading as Ty Lopez likes to call. I've been wa I'm, dude, I've been binge watching like all of his videos because he only speaks the truth. I am addicted to truth, like knowledge, facts, real life. I'm so addicted to that. And I love when other people speak about it because it reinforces my thoughts and my positive feelings and energy, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like when I vlog, it allows me to express and convey my messages that are going on in my crazy head. And I'm so glad that you guys enjoy watching it too. You know, some people might think, oh, you're so full of yourself. So people think the term being full of yourself is like a bad thing, as long as you're not being a immature or dis disrespectful person. Being yourself is what you want to be the most of. You should be full of you. Who are going to be full of? Someone else? That just sounds nasty. Dude, I'm not afraid to express my feelings or say what I think. People that are afraid to speak their minds are afraid. They're afraid of what others are gonna say or think about them. No matter what you say, people will form opinions. So you might as well just speak your mind and not care what what other people think about it. That's how I am, you know. It might turn some people off because they can't handle the truth. Some people can't handle it. They get offended, they get turned off. They like shy away and they feel uncomfortable. You can see it in their face, their eyes. It's weird. I mean, you can sense when someone is on the same, same like wavelength as you, the same energy, same vibes. You instantly know when someone's not because they're just not being how someone that would be. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. It's just, it's just funny when you, when you bring it up and mention it. For example, like all your friends, I'm sure all of you guys get along well. And if you're not getting along well, and they're being mean and putting you down, then they're not your friends. Those are your enemies. But if you're cool buddies and you have a group of people you can rely on and count on, those are your friends. Dude, this vlog is all over the place. I've just been so influenced by everything. Like just reading these books makes me feel like a more wise person like I know the path I'm on because I've been following it for years dude I've been doing this YouTube thing which people think is just a hobby it's more than that you know this is how I, I live because I'm doing what I love love live is like the same word you should love being alive because you have the choice to love like you decide what you want to love and not love if someone else says you're, you're doing it wrong you love what you love man is that, is, that, is that tough to do? It shouldn't be. I think I better wrap this up before I start, you know, wasting more time. I'm not wasting time, because I'm talking to you. I'm not wasting time, but like, I got stuff to do. I gotta edit some videos and put this together, which is gonna take more time. We plan on leaving at like seven in the morning, so I have to go 
lickety split. I gotta go quick and get working here. Anyways, hope you all have a great day, great night, wherever you are. Take care for me, okay? You know, I don't think I have to do my, my outro every time because like, the people that are watching this are those that already know me. So why would I say, I'm Elite Shot. Or you can call me Elite Shot. No, don't call me Elite Shot. It's not, it's not that. You only say it that way if you don't know what the word elite means. It means the best. It's the best of the best. That's about it. Later, skaters. Peace! Still doing that because it's fun.